Wednesday of Easter week reflection my dear friends resurrection has to be experience there's no other way you personally experience the resurrected christ so we find today how the disciples were scattered and and two of them cleopas some say cleopas and his wife they both they were going to emmaus and it's about 11 kilometers away from jerusalem and 7 miles away from jerusalem and they were talking with each other about all these things that happened and they were completely upset they were broken they are scared they are angry and all the negative feelings so they are they are going away from jerusalem but then if you can remember in 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 luke chapter 24 verse 49 it is said wait in jerusalem until you receive the power from above so th this is the promise in acts of the apostles chapter 1 verse 4 also wait with expectation don't run away from the wound don't run away from the brokenness no you just you just wait upon it it's important now they are running away because they are scared because they are frustrated because they are broken whatever it is but then lord wanted them to come back to jerusalem because they are going to receive the power of the holy spirit in jerusalem so we are in a time 50 days of preparation for the pentecost so in that preparation remember to experience the risen lord experience the holy spirit anointing you cannot escape from the situation no you have to wait upon it the lord is going to answer in jerusalem not in ivaris so we find we find how peter and john they were anointed with the power of the holy spirit yesterday and day before yesterday we reflected how they were preaching and now the preaching the lord is certifying in in matthew in mark chapter 16 after ascension the lord said during before ascension he said i will certify things with signs all what you preach be certified with signs miracles so now they find this particular man at a lame a lame man lame from birth was being carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate to ask alms of those entering the temple now it's a trade sometimes so this beggar is kept there and and to get alms so my dear friends now the lord the anointing is there with the with peter and james peter and john and what happened peter and john were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour and the lame and the man lame from birth was being carried whom they laid at the beautiful gate to ask seeing peter and john about to go into the temple he asked to receive alms now remember now they are going to the temple not coming from the temple going to the temple even going to the temple they are anointed they said ah uh, hopefully we'll also have the same anointing when we come out of the temple sometimes uh, for us temple is a place where we lose the anointing because of all the gossip and uh, temptations there but then when they were going to the temple they had the anointing because they came from pentecost the pentecost the the upper room and they had the anointing the fire and then he said now he he ask without knowing anything that's begging no prayer uh, asking like a child and asking like a proper it's a complete two different ways of asking and peter directed uh, seeing peter and john about to go to the temple he asked to receive alms and peter directed his gaze at him and did as did john and said look at us 
Now see that their, their focus is, his focus is broken. And fix his attention on them. Expecting to receive something from them. I mean, he also looked at them, but then expecting something to receive. In, this, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, Nazareth Christ of Nazareth, raise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Now Peter, John, all the disciples had this power from above. And it, that power is transmitted. And the, the preaching was certified with signs, miracles. But the friends, what happened? So, but then they were all broken earlier. Like Leopold and his wife. They were broken. And they were going without identifying that the Lord is with them. They were talking to him like Mary Magdalene. Same way. She thought that he's, he's the, Jesus is the garden. And asked, if you have taken my master away, please tell me, I will take him. They were talking to the Jesus, to the Lord, without knowing that he's the Lord. And it's a contradiction. Even here, we find they never saw him as, as Jesus. And they were so, so broken because they thought, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know these things that, that have happened these days? That are three in these days? They are in three days, these days. And he said to them, what things? And they said to, said to him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, the man who was prophet, mighty indeed and word before God and all the people and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped, this is important, we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Now we thought, we thought he's going to save. He's going to save. Now we thought that this is the problem. Mary Magdalene wanted, wanted the Lord, the body of the Lord. Hence they were now what happened? Their, their, their plan is broken. Their frame is broken. It does not mean God is broken. God's plan is broken. No. We thought. That is broken. Then what happened? But we had, had hoped that he was the one. Moreover, and they say some women saw and all the incidents, people came and shared with them. But yet, they were going away from Jerusalem. They could not believe because they have not experienced the risen Lord. Some of the, he said to them, Oh foolish! Some of these were with us, went to the and he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted them all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. So they drew, now oh, he's explaining because the scripture is the light, isn't it? For the all, not what they thought. Remember the scripture. It's important. Now they thought. Now they came to the to a mouse, to their own place. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He acted as if he were going further. But they urged him to urge him strongly, saying, Stay with us. Now why they urge him to stay with us? He's, the, he's, he's in the journey and he should ask them whether I can stay with you because he's in danger. But then he said, stay with us because they are darkness. The night, it was night, not outside. Their life is in darkness. So he had to stay with them. And when, the, when he broke the bread and gave it to them, he disappeared. They realized, they realized, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road? 
but he opened to us the scriptures. Scripture, Eucharist, and they realize him. My dear friends, the risen Lord is with you, with the word, with the Eucharist, experience him and transmit that power to others also. Amen. May God bless you.